Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the uh, chain replication method, which, which is a way to compare two projects with different maturities in a capital budgeting decision. We know that when projects have different maturities, we can't just look at their net present value because a net present value of uh, say $50,000 in 50 years is not exactly the same thing as getting $50,000 in five years. So different maturities will definitely affect uh, how good or how bad a project is. The chain replication method is basically a way to take two projects that have different maturities and compare them over an equal amount of time. In this example, you have two projects. The first one is a three-year investment and the second one is a two-year investment. So what is the lowest common multiple of three and two? Well, six. So the way the chain replication method works is we're going to repeat the investment until it reaches that number of years. So for investment A, we're going to repeat it two times. For investment B, we're going to repeat it three times. Now the way to do this is by first calculating the net present value of the investment itself. Now we all know how to do this. You're going to take the present value of all the inflows, subtract the outflows, and you should get a net present value of $1,242.67 for investment A, $1,049.59 for investment B. Now comes the chain replication. Since we're replicating investment A two times, you would imagine that at the end of the third year, the second instance of this investment would begin. So since the net present value is $1,242.67 for the project, then you would have it at time zero, so at the beginning of the first repetition, and at time three, which would be the beginning of the second repetition. Now, just take that second net present value and discount it back to the beginning and add it to your first one. And that would give you the net present value using the chain replication method. For the second project, since we're going to be repeating it three times, you would have the net present value at time zero, then you would have it again at time two, and again at time four. Once again, we're going to take those future NPVs, bring them back to time zero just by discounting and adding them all together. Now that we've compared them over an equal amount of time, in this case six years, we can see that the second project is actually a better one. Even though it had a lower NPV, when compared over an equal amount of time, it actually had a higher NPV. So that's how you do the chain replication method. I hope that it helped. If it did, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.